Well, summer's starting to wind down just a little bit, but uh, boy, if you're an athlete and you want to get out and enjoy some camps yet and improve your skills, there's a nice one coming to Salina coming up on Tuesday. It's the Colin Klein Passing Academy as uh, Colin will come to Salina and, well, if you're a quarterback want to get out there and get some more passing skills in, he'll have it for you. And we have Colin now with us. Uh, Colin, you're coming off, of course, a great career at Kansas State, a, a nice way to finish it with a Big 12 championship this last season, a Heisman Trophy finalist. I mean, it it really seemed like all in all it was a, a pretty much a dream season at Kansas State, except for maybe a couple of hiccups in there here and there. Well, you know, again, I was so blessed to be such a part of an amazing team, an amazing staff, and an amazing community and family at K-State. I, uh just been so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know one thing, when you're playing college football, I mean, a lot of folks, a lot of guys dream of maybe getting in that Heisman Trophy chase and going to experience everything in New York City. You got the opportunity to do that. What was that whole experience like for you back in December to get to go to New York, meet the guys you're up against and Johnny Manziel and Manti Teo? What was that whole just experience like for you? I mean, it, that's, exact, that's exactly what it was. It was an amazing experience and uh, an honor to be there for sure to represent my Lord, my family, and uh, obviously Kansas State. And uh, I was truly honored. Talking with Colin Klein, the Colin Klein Passing Academy coming up on Tuesday here in Salina at Salina Stadium. Uh, of course, the Big 12 Championship, a big part of this past season for Kansas State. There haven't been a whole lot of those in Wildcat history, and they're they're all special, that's for sure. But to get to celebrate it at home and, and in the fashion that this team did it, too, it just seemed like a, a real special night. Can you describe what that was like to, to be there with the home crowd and, and the whole team and everything? And it seemed like it just had to be very special. You know, it was, it was unbelievable. Um, just... Uh talk about a family night that's exactly what it was and uh, being able to finish and uh, respond to obviously a uh, you know a hard hard performance the week two weeks before that and uh, just to finish strong and uh, be there all together at home with our fans and uh, it was it was amazing talking with Colin Klein of course uh Bill Snyder has really done a lot for this Kansas State program. Those of us who have been in this area and are K-State fans or have followed the program for a long time have seen what he has done, and I know he's been that great figure for Kansas State football anyway. You get a chance, you know, to be around him when the media is not around, when there's a lot of folks not around. We, we see what he's like, you know, all the time, but what's he like when he gets away from everything anyway? You know, a lot of the same. I mean, he's just so consistent in everything that he does. Uh, I mean, you probably have to ask his immediate family to, <laughs> you know, for more details on that. I mean, around around us, he's obviously very compassionate. He cares so much. Very hard on us, very demanding, um, but very, very consistent, let me tell you. Absolutely. Well, you still have a brother at the Kansas State team, and of course, being a, an alum and coming from this football program, obviously you have an interest in it going forward, and seems like a season of transition coming up for the Wildcats. What do you see for the, for these guys coming up as they get ready to start practice here very soon? Well, I think it's going to be a competition in a lot of spots, and uh, they'll make each other better, and uh, they'll come together, and uh, that will determine uh, what kind of year it is, is, is what kind of team continuity and a commitment they're willing to make to each other and, and what they're doing, and uh, it'll be exciting. I'm, I'm so so excited to watch. Talking with Colin Klein, uh, now with the Colin Klein Passing Academy making its way throughout the state of Kansas and uh, kind of down in southwest Kansas to start off with, or start with Wichita, then into southwest Kansas, and making its way to Salina coming up on Tuesday. Uh, what inspired this Colin Klein Passing Academy here? Uh, what led to the start this anyway? Well, um, it was something that was kind of on my heart that I always wanted to do at some point. Um, and really, I was uh, talking with a friend of mine, Senator Garrett Love, who's really uh, been kind of partnered with me as far as getting everything organized and rolling. And, you know, we were talking about it and looked into it a little bit, and we figured, you know what, we can, uh, we really 
want to get this done and, and want to get out into the communities and uh, give back and say thank you to uh, the people in each one of them and, and the kids in each one of them with uh, you know what we love to do in, in sport and football, but uh, also a bigger picture of life and character and um, you know a lot of the more important things as well. Well, I know you mentioned Garrett Love. He's one of the other coaches that you have out there with you. I know your dad's out with you. And then uh, Dane Simino from Salina as well is, is one of those coaches. It seems like you have a pretty good group with you going around to all these camps too. Oh, no question. And uh, I mean, I've seen it just in now that we've been going for two days now. I mean, just how um, good our selections were. Uh, I mean, they're every top to bottom, dad and, uh, Dane and uh, Brad Gober and Skyler Beam. I mean, all those guys are, uh, you really see their heart for the kids and, and just how much they want to invest in them and how much they care about them. And uh, that's what's most important to me and, and us in, in this venture. Well, uh, these kids that uh, want to come out to your camp coming up Tuesday at Salina Stadium, get it started in the morning from 9 to noon. And then, of course, the high schoolers from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Uh, what can those who come out, what can they expect to get from the Passing Academy anyway? Well, they're going to uh, they're gonna experience and have the opportunity to develop and practice fundamental skills um, at every offensive skill position. Um, we'll have, you know, station drills for those. Uh, then we'll transition and apply those fundamentals to um, kind of routes and uh, position work together quarterbacks, receivers, running backs, like all that, all that will be working together and building off those fundamentals that we put in place. And then we'll finish up with uh, competitive drills and seven on sevens. And, uh, you know, at that point, some kind of pass schematics and also uh, competition fun drills. So it'll, you know, it, it's a blast. Well, it sounds like, too, as you mentioned there, it's not just for quarterbacks. It, it says passing academy in the name, but, you know, if you are one of those offensive guys, this is something maybe you want to come out and take part in. No, exactly, exactly. And, uh, I mean, everyone has benefited. I mean, we've had, uh, you know, a couple in the first two days, even we've had a couple couple linemen that, uh, you know, wanted to run and catch, and, and so they were <laughs> playing some tight end and running and catching the football and, and looked really good. Well, now, if you're interested in taking part in the Passing Academy, as I mentioned, coming up Tuesday in Salina at Salina Stadium, how can you find out more about the Passing Academy? Well, they can go to callandclinepassingacademy.com, and all the information is there. There will be a couple different tabs with some information, and then they can go to the exact um, camp and, and the date of that camp and click on that, and then uh, they can print out a registration form and a waiver, and uh, all the information is there, and um, and then come and be ready to have a lot of fun. Well, I know this is kind of dipping your toe in, into the coaching waters a little bit. You, you had an cha- uh, opportunity there with the Texans, too, with the mini camp. Are you hearing anything uh, professionally, and, and is coaching something you maybe want to get into someday? Well, you know, it very well may be. I'm just waiting to see what the Lord has. I know uh, I have been in contact with a couple teams and uh, just hoping to get to camp, so we'll see. Absolutely. So, Colin, thanks for the time. Best of luck here at the Passing Academy. Best of luck here with your future as well. Thank you very much. And that was former Kansas State quarterback and Heisman Trophy finalist Colin Klein with us on In the Zone this evening. The Colin Klein Passing Academy coming up Tuesday at Salinas Stadium. If you'd like to participate, third through eighth grade, nine to noon, high school one to four coming up on Tuesday, $45 to participate. You can learn more online, colinkleinpassingacademy.com. Registration forms, waivers, all on the website, ready for you to print off and get filled out and have ready the day of the camp. Again, coming up Tuesday at Salina Stadium, colinkleinpassingacademy.com. Other locations around the state as well. And uh, if you don't want to remember that website, just go to our website, ksal.com backslash sports. We'll have a story on the Colin Klein Passing Academy coming to Salina up there as well. And we'll have a link there to the website of ColinKleinPassingAcademy.com and you can find out more if you are interested.